Hello and welcome to News Click. Today we have here with us Mr. C. H. Venkata Chalam, the General Secretary of All India Bank Employees Association, AIBEA. Welcome to News Click, Mr. Venkata Chalam. Yeah, how are you? I am good, sir. Tell me. Today we have read in the news that government has announced more than 2 lakh crores of capitalization to the Indian banking sector, probably public sector banks. So, as a bank employee and a leader of bank employee, employees union, what, what do you think is going to be the impact on the banking sector? This is uh, that way a welcome measure because we have been demanding. See, the point is that banking sector, public sector banks are totally connected to economy and its development. So, if our economy has to develop and grow and progress, naturally there is a link between the, uh, the development in the economy and the progress of the banks. But banks, there is a crisis now in the sense that number one, banks are not able to lend uh, more because the, there is a problem of capital. And why is there a problem of capital? Because uh, banks are earning profit but everything is going diverted toward bad loans provision. So there is no capital and their capital adequacy ratio is coming down. So they are not able to lend. So that, that, that's why we have been fighting uh, two things. Number one, government should uh, take effective measures to recover the bad loans so that uh, the banks are not required to provide more and their capital adequacy ratio is not adversely affected. Or the government should give capital so that the banks can do business. So that, that way, I think one portion, we, we know the nexus between the government and the people who have taken the bad loan. It's not that easy for them to recover. rather. They, they pamper them, they give all concession for write-off. So at, at least this, uh, now they are coming forward. Let's hope faithfully, uh, sincerely, they will give this capital and banks will be able to use this money for productive purpose, for uh, agriculture development, for uh, small-scale industries, employment generation, uh, uh, education, infrastructure like that. Again, this money is also, uh, the government has been telling, 2000. 2013 it has been given to some people by the previous government so if the government also will give loan to all uh, types of people same we will be in square one we hope it doesn't happen but to that extent it's a welcome measure uh, is the amount declared enough to capitalize the banks adequately capitalize the banks it is not enough at all it is not we need more than four lakh crores uh, 50 percent of that the two in two years they are telling but in the meantime th there is no hope or possibility that bad loans, uh, uh, the NPS will be contained. If again bad loans will be increasing, again uh, whatever capital they give, they will be getting eroded because of more and more provisions. So, this is only one step. This alone is not going to help unless it is also simultaneously uh, uh, corresponding to that, followed by recovery. That is where the real weakness in the banks are now. The banks are not able to recover because the uh, economy is not doing well, somebody deliberately cheating. So that also government has to keep in mind. This is okay, but this alone is not going to solve the problem. We may be again in the same deep trouble after one year or so, when whatever has been given will be siphoned out because of uh, more provisions. So this alone is not enough. Real problem is recovery of bad loans. Talking about the economic recovery, government, government linked this uh, recapitalization of the banks with economic recovery especially of special lending to MSME, micro and small uh, enterprises. Uh, how, how is it going to help? Because in any way there are, there are norms for priority sector lending. Is this new lending going to be uh, additional to the existing priority sector lending? See, there is nothing new that can be anticipated. The economic uh, development pattern, uh, we know that earlier also and now also, the same pattern will continue. It will benefit only the rich people. With all that MSME, whatever they say, ultimately only some section of the top uh, rich affluent who can afford credit, they will be benefited. Incidentally, some uh, it may go to the real needy people. For example, agriculture, we need more money. Hardly 30% of the needs are given by the banks. Even in Tamil Nadu, right now there is a big problem uh, in uh, southern district. Some children have committed suicide by burning themselves because they are not able to uh, repay the loan or even the interest. So when that is so, uh, uh, unless these uh, loans are given with a particular uh, project in mind or purpose in mind, again it is like a corporation water tab, it will get uh, leaked out. It will go to somebody, purpose will not be solved. But the, 
Their intention is to revive the economy. But, but we know, you know, how see, the corporate people, how they are manipulating. They are not taking loan. They say, you give us further concessions. Then only we will take loan. Th that, that means the, the, the cost of uh, lending will come down. And to match it, they will reduce the cost of uh, funds. That means the ordinary people who are saving the money, uh, they, they will not get the return. So the burden will be on the poor people again, ordinary people. So it's a vicious circle. Basically, government must follow a pro-people economic policy. They are talking of only reviving the GDP numbers. Simply GDP increase doesn't mean uh, people are economically better off. Because the portion, bulk of the portion of the GDP benefit is siphoned out to, to the big people's uh, benefit. So it's not going to solve. It, it, they will show numbers of uh, development. GDP is going from 5.7 to 6.7 like that. But the people will continue to suffer. Uh, let, let's hope that they change their policy and uh, do something good for the people. Let's hope. As you said, uh, the banks need about 4 lakh crores of recapitalization. But government so far has announced only little more than 2 lakh crores. So, is, is there any particular reason behind it that government wants to shut down the, some of the smaller banks or uh, do the merger of bigger banks? Is there something like that? Yeah, quite obviously, quite, you are right, quite obviously. Yeah, that's also the agenda. That, that they will strengthen big banks, close down the small banks, merge them. And that is the thing now. We want big banks, big banks, competitive banks. Big banks by themselves do not mean that they are good banks. We need good banks. Which are, uh, those banks which will help the common people. What is the purpose of big bank? That means and the risk is more. We have seen in America, elsewhere, big, very big banks, they have collapsed. So India cannot afford to take that risk at this moment when, when, when already we are in crisis. So I think the government is trying to take a big risk in making the bank bigger. We need good banks, we need effective banks, we can help the people. In, in, in the sense, the real economic revival Agriculture must be remunerative, job uh, generation is very important, urban living should be better, retail uh, uh, consumption uh, it should be matched with production, industrial development is also equally important, but, but, but they are going roundabout way. Uh, so I, I don't think uh, this is going to help us, uh, rather this is going to be risky. Big bang means definitely risky. Mergers uh, is, not, is not warranted at all. We need expansion. Expand the banks open more and more branches, give more loan. Our GDP ratio is hardly 47-48%. Yesterday I saw some report. In other countries, it is 100, 110. China, they say 147%. So, under the banks will give loan for production. Uh, how how there will be production? And then uh, uh, it will go to the people. Prices will stabilize. So, now these loans are all helping only uh, speculation, not stability. Thank you for giving us your time. Thank you, Sujana. Thank you. Thank you for watching NewsClick. Keep, keep watching us on newsclick.in.